Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Wednesday, January 23rd. Taking a look at the main impacts for the next few days. Uh, first of all, for today, snow and blowing snow really for, for the Highway 20, 20 corridor from Idaho Falls north to Montana, the Island Park area, south to Palisades, and all of the higher train areas along and east of I-15, along and south of I-86. We'll see snow and blowing snow today. That'll be tapering off tonight. Uh, and for Friday, another round of mostly light snow uh, for the Island Park area, the air higher train along the, uh, the Montana border and uh, south to about Palisades with a break for the weekend. And then we're looking at another system Sunday night into Monday, bringing snow and wind for many of the same areas that are experiencing the snow and wind uh, for today. Taking a look at the uh, planning timeline here, again for today, uh, the moderate impact areas in the orange. So again, Island Park area, the Southeast Highlands, the Bear Lake and Bear River Range is where conditions are expected to be worse today uh, due to the combination of the snow and the blowing snow. And then you see the improvement here as we get into the gray for all of these areas for tomorrow. But still some lingering blowing snow for the higher train areas here uh, in the Bear River Range and higher ter uh, terrain around, say, Soda Springs. Uh, these areas, many of these same areas, we'll see, as we mentioned, some light snow on Friday. But a quiet weekend is expected. Take a look at the satellite picture here. You can see in these greens the the areas of, of greater moisture as the loop gets closer to current right there. You can see that higher moisture working towards us, but drier air quickly working in behind it here, as you can see in these oranges and reds, and that'll be moving in uh, overnight tonight. But some higher moisture air here out over the Pacific, that'll be moving in for uh, Friday, and we'll show you some of those details here shortly. Uh, but first, let's show you the forecast radar as we go through today with areas in blue is is indicating where snow is expected. The darker the blue, the heavier the snow. You can see again most of that along and east of the I-15 uh, corridor. That snow that we're experiencing in Rexburg this morning, uh, north to the Ashton Hill area, that'll be tapering off this morning, but continuing around Island Park through the afternoon. You can see how that progresses. Things uh, generally tapering off. Uh, we're at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight now, uh, with most of it is done by around midnight. And you can see not much in the way of any activity expected for Thursday. But as we get into Friday, as I'll show you here shortly, uh, that's when we expect uh, another round of light snow to move in for uh, areas around the park. Uh, but before I do that, here's a look at the six hour amounts again for the rest of the today. The really the heaviest snow is expected to be around Pine Creek Pass and uh, for the Bear River Range area. You can see how that quickly tapers off this evening into the overnight hours. And then here's a look at the Friday amounts. Pretty light, particularly compared to today's system with the heaviest snow around the park, one to two inches there. Uh, same thing for around Palisades and, and Pine Creek Pass. Uh, I mentioned the potential for blowing snow, and you can see the winds here. This is when they'll be strongest, late this morning through the afternoon. Some southwest winds here, uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour across the Snake Plain. But notice these mountains here south of I-84 and 86. Uh, Pine Creek Pass, some stronger wind gusts in there, and even, let's not forget, uh, places like Galena Summit, Banner Summit, Willow Creek Summit, uh, some gusty winds there for this afternoon as well. And continuing into tonight for those areas, uh, notice too some stronger west winds will build in for, say, Yale, Idaho, Sweetser Summit uh, with some strong west winds there, maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour. And we see those gradually ramp down as we get uh, through the night, and especially into Thursday morning, winds are quite a bit lighter by then. Uh, show you here on Friday, lighter winds, much lighter winds than compared to today with that light snow uh, expected in these areas here that I that I circled here. 
and we'll show you quickly temperatures uh, for today very close to uh, averages for this time of year getting above freezing though in the eastern magic valley and low temperatures for tonight look like this back below freezing for just about everyone uh, we'll expect similar temperatures through the weekend and we will see though colder temperatures building in for early next week as most everyone except for the eastern magic valley expected to be below freezing for highs on monday and fairly cold Monday night into Tuesday with lots of single digits and teens across the entire area. And those colder temperatures expected to, to last at least into midweek. Well, that'll conclude the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we welcome those to the phone number or email address you see there. Thank you.